Well, I just made half this video and managed to delete it, so I guess we'll start over on the flip side. Got the three wheelers in here, and I wanted to kind of show what um, what I found with them. Uh, this time I'll start with the 200. The 200, I guess, and they had a little bit of an in-hole gas leak. Is it's got this crappy? I remember what I don't remember what this stuff was called, but it came in a yellow tube with like red label on it. You get it in advance, and it had like a gas can on it, and it was supposed to seal gas tanks. And I did actually kind of fix a little leak on a lawnmower tank with it once, but not. No, it wasn't too quality of stuff. And then kind of that doesn't have any sealer on it really, but it might add a little bit of repair. And they're both kind of rusty inside. And I'm thinking the tanks probably need to be cleaned and sealed. I think that's going to be the best bet for those all the other day. I had to do that to my big red. Um, the 200 is pretty straight. Uh, it definitely needs some tires. That looks like a lawnmower tire. Uh, it's an actual tire, I guess. But it definitely needs some tires, and uh, past that, I'm not really entirely sure. I mean, it's got the little tool kit there still. I thought that was pretty neat. It needs an air filter, and it uh, needs to do with the tank, but really pretty straight. I mean, the plastics are all pretty well intact, and the rack's pretty, pretty clean. So what I do want to do, because we did have a little bit of luck with this one, This bothers you. Close your eyes for a minute. Do it a little bit. Should I switch? Sure. No, oh, don't be that way. There it is. So I didn't want to get it too much, obviously, but we did check the oil and we put some lube in there and everything before doing that, so we don't lose sleep over it now. But just a little mist there and she fires right off. So I really think get the tank fixed on this one. That's really all it's going to take. I'll do an air filter and get a tank, get a little filter on there and do something about the tires. I think this, this little guy would be pretty rideable. Uh, seat's in good shape. I'm sure, a cover will stick. Eh, it must have been recovered. It's not too brittle. Yeah, it's definitely recovered. Well, that's good. As long as the foam's good, the rest is a, no big deal. But no, I'd, I'd like the little 200. I'd, back in my earlier days of collecting and messing with these, I really didn't care for anything smaller than a 250. I don't know, they've kind of grown on me. A little small for me to want to ride around a lot. And I don't like the fact that there's no suspension in the back, but they're a neat piece of the timeline nonetheless. I wouldn't mind, honestly, collecting the rest of the 200s just for fun. I wouldn't mind having a 185. Really wouldn't mind anything besides, I don't really care to have a 90 or a 110. Or not a 90, 90 would be cool. I don't really care to have a 70 or necessarily a 110 really I'd take anything <laughs> but uh, on the other hand that 250SX here is giving a little more grief the carb was missing and I threw just a crap carb on there that used to be on my big red but it didn't put enough fuel out and I didn't know that till I rode someone else's big red after that that thing was off of there but they had a little bit of wiring Cobbleness here. And I just have it all unhooked now, but I think they had the wrong key switch and they just kind of did a little splicing. But um, pretty much everything's here, I think, except the carb. So I have to find a core carb and get a rebuild kit. Not the first time. I think the tank's pretty good. It needs a petcock and probably be sealed, like I said. Not too, too big of a deal. Um, and then I think the bearings are out in that uh, front, front fork there, but not first time I had to do those either. <coughs> Other than that, um, 
That thing is extremely bad shape on it. Um, it's kind of your, uh, your usual things, the plastics you kind of shot. I think that little boot's probably... Yeah, maybe not. thought it had a tear in it. If you don't ever ride in the water, it's not as big a deal. I used to ride my Big Red through the creeks a lot, and that was torn, and I think that's part of the reason I blew the rear end out. I think it's getting water in through there. We could be wrong. Anyway, I ordered a key switch for this one already. I wish, I really want to get a headlight. It's really bothering me, but they're really not very cheap. To get the complete one, it's like $300. And I guess I'd rather just see it run first. But I tried to do kind of the same thing. I put spray just a little bit either in there and kicked it over. And I'm not getting any fire. And obviously I don't have a key in here, but if it's anything like my big red, if you just unhook it, and that counts as it being on as far as the ignition goes. But I just hadn't managed to get any fire out of it yet. I don't know, it's probably something, something stupid. Could be something worse, we'll just have to wait and find out. Uh, I'm gonna get the key in and uh, hook me up a battery with some jumper cables to it or something. Crank it over that way so we can figure it out. Could be something silly like a neutral wire or something. I've had that before. Could be something worse. We'll just have to find out. I did find out that the 200 is an 85. <coughs> um, the sticker is kind of scuffed on this one, but I'm pretty sure that's an 85 gas tank. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think they made these at the same time as the big reds, which would be 85, 86, and then a little bit of 87. It's and I think the later ones have white tanks. So I'm pretty sure this is an 85. It looks damn similar to my big red tank. Anyway, either Bandit's Garage. Shout out to him. He wanted some more three wheeler videos and do more on them as I progress. I'll do some more in depth stuff maybe. But at the moment today was kind of a just like, let's take a look, let's see what we need and go from there. So. Until next time.